I was really curious to see how this brake warning light switch works. Uh, this is from a 240Z. It's basically, uh, you've got a chamber here for the front brake system and the chamber there for the rear brake system. Now in the middle we've got, I'll show you on the photo, you've got a spring that sits in there and a spring that sits in there with a valve that sits in the center. Um, now this pin here goes down through the center and it normally doesn't touch that valve. When you've got a pressure difference from your brake to your, your front to your rear brake system, that valve gets pushed to one side, that contacts that pin and that pin is connected to a wire which is connected to your brake light switch inside the cabin. So to test it, just put the camera down. She's got a multimeter um, set up for continuity. Now at the moment I'm touching it and it is pushed to the left but it's there's no pressure there so it's not triggering yet. As soon as I apply pressure, there you go, that's pushed to one side. Now we can push that valve to the other side. That works both ways. Now the, the pressure difference. Um, here we go. It needs to be 13 to 17 kilograms per centimeter cubed. Uh, and I guess that's determined uh, by that spring rate. These two springs. Uh, there you go. An interesting little mechanical brake warning light system.